pour the tungsten into the. That's the sun. That's that's a great light. Did someone just fall over? The man's got. In the process, I've shattered a window. Uh, no, you have. One moment. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Forgotten Podcast. I'm your intro host, of course, Catman Joe. We're joined here once again by none other than the cynic himself, Mr. Mass Cynic. How disappointing. It is the absolute pleasure to have you as always, Joseph. For this episode of the podcast, we are joined, I'm sure surprisingly for some of our older viewers, by Mr. Planet Dragon. For those of you who don't already know who Planet Dragon is or why this could be somewhat surprising, I'll briefly summarize and try and explain. Planet Dragon originally came on this show as a guest back in October 2020, so almost two years ago now for episode 12, which inherently actually became our most viewed episode of this show or of this podcast. However, when Dragon originally came on the show, we were all on good terms. Dragon was, in both myself and Mass Cynic's opinion, at his absolute peak on YouTube, with him at that point just surpassing 6,700 subscribers and 1.4 million combined channel views. However, as always, it goes downhill, and in August of 2021, Dragon was subsequently kicked out of our community and all the sub-communities surrounding ours due to him being caught for scamming both myself and Zebrus for our personal information, that mainly being our home addresses. On the 3rd of the same month, we streamed episode 19 of the show titled Dragon's Downfall, where myself, Zebrus, Masonic, Sam B, and Rolly Egg, all ex-friends of Dragons, annexed him from our community fully, and the rest is what they would call history. Now, almost six months later, we are all having a massive discussion regarding this, and after all the dust has settled, we've decided to invite Dragon back on the show to give him the opportunity to explain his actions, and hopefully by the end of this, lay this to rest once and for all. Dragon, welcome back to the show, and thank you for coming on to join us. Uh -huh. That was, oh, come on, I done, I done all one take there. Guys, we tried this multiple times. It was it was absolute hell, honestly. That's why Joseph looks like a meerkat and he's sitting there with the, the biggest frown it's on his It's pronounced face. meerkat, not meerkat. I'm saying meerkat. It sounds good, all right? I'm sticking with my okay. way, you know what I'm saying? But how's it going, Dragon? Again, joke side on one of It is honestly great to have you in the show, man. Thank you for coming on, coming on and joining us. It's actually kind of surreal. Can we just begin with this, obviously, before we really get into any questions and whatnot? And I think for all of us, um, how weirdly, you know, you being quite entwined with TFP's, I guess, kind of, uh, I would say, history. You know what I mean? You came on in 2020, right? That was, uh, you know, again, now two years ago almost. It wasn't exactly two years, because it's like October 2020. So almost two years, give or take. I know what you'd say. I'd say give or take, right? Um... But when you originally came on, you know, we were, we were doing the old layout of TFP. We were doing on the PS4, recording it. Uh, remember, Joseph, you remember this. Joseph was having to edit up the uh, the episodes and having to add our face cams to the top left. That was like right. off share factory. We were yeah, doing all the extra was, stuff it, as well. It was, it was really bootleg. It was actually really crazy and whatnot. You also um, wasn't public with your face at the time as well. Is this yeah. the first time you've done proper face cam? Uh, I've done second, it a few right? times on Twitch before. Yeah, I was going to say, you done it, because it wasn't on YouTube, you done it for like a, a Watch Dogs thing or something? Was uh, it like, I remember you doing on, it once. On one of my 24 hour streams, I was going to do a face reveal. So I kind of did the whole hat, the goggles and the mask thing. And I was taking off my hat like every five minutes, the goggles and the mask. But oh, right. someone someone in chat ruined it, so I just didn't do it. Oh, wait, so I, I thought you did do the face reveal, but you didn't do it then, no. Uh, no. No, no, not not properly. But so this is kind of like your first time, and it's quite crazy actually. It's it's kind of cool as well and a unique experience because inherently Dragon's got a PC now. <laughs> Dragon's got a PC. I've got a PC. Joseph's getting a new PC in a few days, so we'll see what happens well, when he gets it. Well, I'm picking that. up tomorrow. I'm still working on basically a concrete block. So you yeah, know, if I solve this in today's money, I'd get at least like four chocolate buttons. But you know, it, it's literally a slab. You should hear it when he's editing. It's just absolutely honestly. You think it's about it a will take off. Uh, it, it's not far from it, honestly. I swear, give it another year, it'll be taken off by itself. If anyone's wondering what make of PC it is, it's a Boeing 747. <laughs> <laughs> At least God sounds damn. like one. Yeah, goddamn. But honestly, Dragon, it is, it's a pleasure having you in the show, man. Um, I, we obviously have a few questions for you. We want to reiterate to the audience, of course, everybody watching, and obviously you already know Dragon to yourself. This is kind of a weird thing for us because this isn't a Blu-ray episode, although it will be labeled as one. This isn't really inherently a Blu-ray episode or a green raid where it's a topic. It's kind, it's of, kind of a hybrid of the two. Yeah, it's kind of the first ever episode that we've really made of where it's like all in one. And it's kind of weird because Dragon, you came on episode 12, you got interviewed dead. Um, that was obviously 2020. And then obviously 2021, we done Dragon's Downfall, the longest episode of the show's history at one point. All that kind of stuff. Um, and then now we're 
here and it's it's very weird the, the show's progressed so much and whatnot but the main part of all this is how it's like uh, this episode really is a mix of both the green rate episode which was dragon's downfall and the blue which was obviously the interview you know with you so we got a few questions man uh, i guess the first one that we it's not really much of a question but it's more kind of a recap for those who don't already know and also for us to kind of discuss this and kind of just get it going um let, let's talk about what happened right i think you agree let's talk about what happened let's go right back to the beginning um, I'm not too sure which month it was. I think it was like back in September or something like that. I don't know when it was exactly, but it was a hot bit ago. Uh, obviously, the whole scamming, you know, me and, and Travis for our for, for our PC thing happened. Um, as much as we can laugh on it now, it was quite a, a serious moment back then. Let's let's talk about how that came about. All right. So, I mean, what would you would you want to begin it like from your words, like how it all started? Because obviously, initially it began with like you, you know, mentioning the streams. You know, you said your mom had won the lottery, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then it kind of it went from there. And I'm I'm intrigued where this kind of all recap from because I know there's more to it. And I think we should really begin with your friend because remember you said there was a guy who originally told you about Bitcoin, and it's a very very confusing story. I can assure everybody, but let's try and go back a little bit. So do you want to you want again or begin? Uh, sure. So there's actually two friends, but one of them I was only actually in contact with. Throughout the whole right. thing. So right. back in 2020, 2019, that kind of time, um, I was playing a game with one of my friends and they were like, oh, hey, Bitcoin is so cool. You should like buy some or whatever. Uh, and I was like, yeah, Bitcoin, cool. So I, I, I looked into it and it, I was like, yeah, it's Bitcoin. <laughs> um, it's and just then, the like, way you say it. Two, two, or so, <laughs> uh, two or so weeks later, my friend's friend, what I'll call friend one, friend two, um, friend two had said to friend one, um, like, you should steal some Bitcoin. You, you could, you could like, make a lot of money. I've made some money. How does one Bitcoin. steal Bitcoin? That's a good question. Uh, you go onto the dark web <laughs> and you use Bitcoin that you've already bought to buy a Bitcoin stealer. Mm -hmm. So are you telling me you've got access to the dark web? I do not, but my friend ah. does. Friend one oh, or friend two with their credit friend name? One and right, friend may, two. May I ask if you even know this? And I, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to know roughly, right? Because, I mean, you're, you're 13 currently, right? Is that correct? Mm. Right. Yeah. So how old are these friends, <coughs> roughly? Uh, friend one, they're, well, they're both, like, 16. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. so they're not, they're not very young. They're, like, just kind of reaching that kind of, like, adulthood. But, I mean, so uh, they told you, though, you should go steal Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Right, and then it progressed from there to you want to get Bitcoin, you want to get obviously money for Bitcoin to then buy a, a Bitcoin miner, did you call it, or Bitcoin stealer? Bitcoin no. stealer. Bitcoin stealer. And I mean, did you ever see any proof of these guys ever doing this themselves? Uh, the only proof that I've gotten, which I shouldn't have believed, was friend two who'd said that he'd like stolen a hundred million off of someone in Bitcoin. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I mean, I feel like that's just pure arrogant, like, kind of silliness. You know, I'm saying to believe that. I mean, I, again, it's a bit kind of naive to think that that's somewhat like plausible. I mean, come on, this guy would be like dead. They still saying? live in the same neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they live near each other and they still talk to each other. Guys, like, I uh, has their life. luxurious lifestyle uh, been evident? <laughs> Tainted. Do they no. have a private jet to school or like mm. the no, private jet to school? <laughs> well, so yeah, the whole situation. the whole story, right, is friend yeah. two had got gotten the hundred million, um, and then he'd bought in like weed or whatever with it. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Like of the, it, the right? main thing he buys for hundred million is just it's, oh okay, like um, yeah, biggest friend. So he would bought a lot of that and like smoked it all, whatever, right, and. <laughs> After that, he had forgotten the account, whatever. Details I mean, you would after that much weed, a hundred million <laughs> so, worth of weed. So the whole thing like, is like insane. he'd stole the hundred million, but then he'd forgotten the logins to the account, so he'd lost the hundred million basically. What? I feel like he'll right. be a bit more upset about this. I know. I, I... Yeah, yeah. So I mean, how did that involve you though? Because what kind of what drove you to the point of kind of making up this kind of thing like i'll buy pc because that, that that was a the big thing obviously because inherently the main thing was of course uh for anybody wondering when i say the dragon scam me it was it was more of a you know you came into the streams and that you were i mean you lied straight off the bat you were like talking about like your mother had won the lottery which was a bit like you i mean it, you know i wouldn't say obviously of course i wouldn't have believed you if you went hey my, my buddy's got millions in bitcoin you know so like and he's like offer me millions <laughs> just because he's a good guy you're know saying like it's you know but it, it, it's a bit absurd to believe um but you said your mom had won the lottery right but like what made yeah. you kind of come to that kind of reasoning of wanting to lie that much or even even lie in the beginning 
I, I didn't really have a plan for it. I just started basically. Um, so I was with friend one, and like we were planning on stealing the Bitcoin and all that, and making her like getting her own account basically. Yeah. Um, and like I was like, yay, we're about to get this. Like, what what could I do with the money? Like, who who could I help out? And I thought of you and Zebrus, and I was like, I'll send them a message or whatever. And then I saw that you were live, so I said on stream, like. Yeah, no, I'm coming into some money. My mom won the lottery, whatever, right? It, it's so. Did like, your mom I... win the lottery? No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you, but like, so, uh, you... I thought for a while that that was true, and I was just sitting yeah. there like, oh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. It, it, it's so naive in hindsight for me to have kind of buyed into it, right? But it was like, <laughs> you, you, you didn't only just say like, oh, she won the lottery, right? You, you really. Sp- like you were spinning it into such a severe lie because this is why i had such an issue with you for a bit because it was like you didn't only just like say all right she won a lottery like you you didn't only just make up like a, a bit of a lie you really like you started like building a story around this you started in like depth to this you're like oh she's bought a, a tesla like you were like oh she's bought a tesla my sister's got money i've got money you know they're getting money like you really kind of kept going with it and i mean like i know it, it was kind of one of those things where it was like oh this is you know at first it's like okay he's just you know he's joking like you know i know i know your sense of humor i know what you're like i'm like ah right, he's, he's just you know it's a joke like i I, for, I wasn't naive enough to be like at first like oh yeah 100 percent, it's genuine it was just like okay he's joking and then with Rolly and others saying that you said like to them sam b right you said you said to them and multiple others mm-hmm. like oh hey i'm gonna buy you guys a pc oh then we're like pff, like okay whatever you know what I'm saying? and then it was just like it was jokes right where was my you, offer <laughs> Yeah, that was like, where was Joseph's offer? It was saying, but it was I wasn't. Like, I wasn't like in contact with you a lot at that time. Yeah, what, I think. What well, Joseph? Yeah, yeah. Yeah and no. It's it's yeah. a weird time frame. Because well, um, I... we started getting into more contact, and then this happened, right? I swear this was afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when when you well you guys before this were editing, right? Because Joseph, yeah. you were editing. So I was in contact. Guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys were like it was just not as much maybe, but you were still speaking. But like it, it was one of those things where it was like for me the reason why I took it so seriously to an extent was because of the the persistency, right? Because it wasn't like you just done it one stream that was like that was it. Like you kept going with it. Like you it wasn't just one stream. It was two. It was three. It was four. It was five. And you just kept building upon it as well and kept adding extra kind of like lies in with them to make it more realistic. And it got to a point where like I was like, hey, you know, like th- this seems kind of legit i don't know like this guy he, like dragon has like a limit with a joke you know what I mean? we all do right there's like there's certain limits and i was like oh well maybe it's gonna be like you know after it after even even after a day or two it's like okay well it's nothing serious you know he's gonna be like oh, i'm just kidding you know it's, it's a joke haha <laughs> memes um but it, it, you kept kind of playing with it and you kept pushing it forward and then you also took it to like another level because eventually like you know i i think the main thing i've got to ask is like why did you take it to such a level of like without even knowing for a fact of course that this was obviously true that your friends or anything like that was going to be to get you money. You you took it to a level of accepting my address and my private information, which I was just like, that was where I was like, hey, like, I mean, can you confirm? I did say to you multiple times before, mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, like, don't, like, if you're kidding, like, just tell me now, like, it's all good. Just tell me now. But you, you didn't, you kept pushing with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it was one of those things where like, I know it's, it's so like in hindsight, it's so hard. It's so you know hard for me to fathom like why I even believed it. But I think it was more desperation at the time. Even Travis said the same. It was more that we were both. It felt like you really picked like the best victims to go with this because it was like we were both both of us, myself and Travis, and that kind of mindset where we both kind of really needed it. Me more than him, obviously to an extent. Um, but like Travis still needed it, of course. So we we're both kind of there with like we needed it, and that's why we we're like, all right, we're willing to buy into this. But what made you like go to the extent of saying, hey, can I get your address? Because you asked me for the address it wasn't like it was like i'll give you my address you would actually ask me like it wasn't like it was it came up in conversation with me like oh i'll give you it just in advance like you you had directly asked me which is where i took offense because it was like all right now this is this is malicious if he's lying because he's he's not just lying and trying to hurt my feelings get my hopes but all that kind of stuff but it's actually like there, there's malicious intent once you get that private information so, so well, at that, yeah sorry right so at the time i still thought i was getting the money because we were like properly planning on doing this like trying to get it to work trying to get the bitcoin to buy the bitcoin stealer and all that so i i was like okay i need to get prepared to buy this stuff and all that so i was like uh, i'm gonna need joe's address and i'm gonna need zebras's address if i'm gonna send zebras to pc and if i'm gonna go deliver the pc to joe himself like myself even so that's why i'd asked you is because i genuinely thought i was getting the money at that time but do you not think it's so naive because it was like you know yeah. it's it's that's that's why i took issue to it because it was like 
you had no proof that it was going to be happening. You you just hear say from your friend. I mean, I, how I think close honestly, are you with these friends, by the way? Because it yeah. seems you had a lot of faith in them. Um, we'd been talking for like two or three years before this all happened, so I, I knew them pretty well. And it did you know them IRL like at all? This. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, no, yeah, it's, just, just, okay. it's a bizarre situation. Sorry, taking off the, the goggles here. Like so, like the, you can see the, the red line right now, Jesus. But like, um, it was it was one of those things where it's like it's it's so naive, in my opinion, of you to believe them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like I've like if you if you know these guys in real life or you know them for years, have they ever done anything like this or had they ever done anything like this to you prior? Uh, like no. Any sort of pranks? No, never, never before prior. So this was like a first time thing. Like this was a, a whole new thing. I mean, but you'd ha had you had ha have you seen anything from them that would even somewhat validate them being like having money? like any like no. clothes car like no so it was it was so naive that's why i think i took such issue with it honestly with you personally because it was like for me it was like okay you can plead stupidity you can plead like ignorance you can plead you know i didn't know better right which 100 percent you can do right because it was like oh okay you know I, I knew these guys i didn't really think about it i was i just thought you know maybe they're being genuine like you can plead ignorance but like there's a certain limit before you go that was just sheer stupid like it was it was like it wasn't even ignorance or like naiveness like it was just actually like ludicrous and stupid excuse me ludicrous and stupid because it was like you, you fucking bite into these guys who have no mm. proof and uh, you, did, did you ever ask them for proof like just in advance no see that's upset like why why would you not ask them for proof because i just trusted them at the time i mean it's it's so naive and difficult i mean it's so not even difficult to believe that you trust them and then obviously we'll, we'll progress from there obviously like I, as you said the story went with like obviously you find out about this kind of bitcoin uh, miner and whatnot right that happened this is like the timeline right like that happened there and then went from there it and feels like a constant streams. shot in the dark that just kind of elongates yeah, you know yeah. I mean? and then yeah and then it was you came on the streams and you started obviously making all the promises and then at first it was like it's just a joke but then it really kind of started to become like, all right, he must be being serious. Like, I, you know, you're asking for private information, like my address or my phone number, which obviously I didn't give you my number at that point in time. But you're asking for this like private stuff. And it was like, OK, well, you know, that's a like, you know, like there's a joke, but like that's like a bit like you're kind of going a little bit too far now. It's, it'd be like trying to play a prank on somebody, but actually physically hurting them like or like, act, like mm -hmm. you know, like deforming them. Like it's <laughs> you can't take that back. Wait. You can't stop that like cutting off their arm and being like hey hey it's just a joke yeah yeah it's like yeah well that's kind of it yeah you can't wait is that not funny well that's actually not funny but let's <laughs> just, like, <laughs> I'm gonna cut my I'm just gonna cut their arm remove off the <laughs> weapons <laughs> just, just remove the arm but it's like th there's a limit you know what i mean there's always a fine limit right and that was in my mind as well obviously of course and that's how when uh i was like hey you've been serious you know like is this a joke are you being serious i oh, know i'm being serious i'm being serious and you kept going with it i was like all right you know like you if you're being serious i'll give you the address but like yeah, I, and I did say it, honestly, this is like the main thing I mentioned in my personal vlogs, and like the on streams on everything, but even in, in the uh, Dragon's Downfall episode, it was more I was so pissed because I was like, yo, I warned you so many times, like, hey, listen, if this is a joke, just say, just say no, and like, there's no no harm done, genuinely, and I meant that, and I still meant that, like, I still mean that, like, I would have honestly been like, all right, man, it sucks, but okay, like, I'm still a little bit miffed, but like, I'm not gonna be holding against your banny from the community you know what i mean because i was you know you've admitted it but you just kept going with it even without any proof from your friends without anything in general and then i gave you the address and then well obviously all the, all the stuff happened after that and i mean what was worse is kenny you kept prolonging the lie i didn't even know you'd ask zebras because like zebras and i we didn't find out until dragon's downfall the actual uh, stream you know we didn't find out that you'd actually ask travis until then and then he mentioned i was like what and he's like yeah i give him my address i think i didn't give my number but i give my address and it was just kind of like dude you've taken the addresses of two different individuals who are friends of yours um and you've done it with like the, the promise of something and you you don't have any proof that you'll be able to deliver it you've got no proof that's even real like you just but you still take an information it's it's just it, it's so naive it'd be like it'd be like kind of uh it'd be like trying to take i don't know like it'd be like getting a loan or something like it'd be like getting like a a loan of uh i don't know like ten thousand pounds and then saying like oh I, i'm I, you know i'm inheriting you know twenty thousand like from my my uncle baba in, in south africa like I'm, I'm inheriting a couple hundred thousand don't worry about it like it's all good like without any proof or anything you're just being it's it's stupidness like you're, you're stupid in that situation it's so naive and dumb to do that to believe somebody just at their word without any proof like even if they're friends there's jokes i mean what do you mind if i ask just just hopped out there what was uh what happened afterwards have you spoke to them after all this happened after everything transpired 
I did kind of talk to them for a week after it kind of happened because I had no one else to talk to. But after that, I did kind of like cut ties with them and just stopped talking to them. Right. I mean, what? What? And when you said you stopped talking to them, like, have you not spoken to them since then at all? Um, maybe the occasional message or something on Discord, but like that's about it. I mean, I got to be honest, man. If if I was in your position with everything that happened, and we're gonna continue the story and kind of talk about how it all transpired and everything got caught, um, but like if I was in your position, I wouldn't have just like not spoke to him. I would have defriended him and blocked him and told them they're fucking ar- like uh, assholes, like straight up, like being honest, because it's like what they done and what they caused because of them joking or like like what did they say? Did they call it a joke or like a lie or like after you spoke to them about it? Did they were they like ah oh, it was just a joke or like what did what did they say? to you uh, they'd said like oh you, you just, it was just like a whole thing it was just a joke kind of thing it was just something along the lines of that i can't remember exactly i mean and how did that make you feel were you just like you know what the fuck like this yeah is... i was i was like <laughs> i can't put it into words it, it would be i can imagine frustrating because if i was in your position like obviously i'd be like yo how, how fucking dare you so like that's not fun i mean i was in your position to an extent obviously with it being another side of the table um i know i i just i said it's so naive to believe them right but mm-hmm. any anyway so you got travis's information i believe before mine then you mm-hmm. got mine and that was with multiple warnings saying hey man if you're joking just take it back and whatnot and i could kind of in, in hindsight i could kind of understand how you were saying you weren't actually like this wasn't a joke that you were doing you were you were thinking it was real so mm-hmm. you were kind of like, oh, I'm not, I'm not joking. This is me being genuine. You know what I mean? Um, and I kind of get that. Welcome back, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I kind of get that, right? But it was like then from there, obviously, you you got the addresses. Um, and I mean, like I remember the first thing you done with my address when you first got it was you went on Google Earth and you went to the address and you looked and you're like, oh, look, that's where you live. And it was so kind of like eerily creepy, like in hindsight. And it was, I know we'll talk about that in a minute, obviously, of course. But that all happened, and then you kind of kept pushing your luck with it because it was like. You, you know, you not only got the address, made all these false promises, but then also you were getting into the world, if you recall. Like, you were, you joined mm-hmm. my game like four or five times. That's like $25 or £25 worth, because it's five pounds to join my, my streams, my games every single time. And you were like, oh, hey, I'm buying a PC. Like, I can join, right? And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I mean, if you can, if you do, then hell yeah. Like, you're, you'll are you be worshipped as like an idol in the community if you do, you know? Um, and that was where it was like, all right, okay, well, if it's genuine, then yeah, you can hop on in. And I know you sent, what was it? Like, you made up PayPal receipts. Mm-hmm. remember like you like this is kind of where like it, it becomes more of like this was like not just this wasn't just ignorance or like a mistake you were like making a lie like you aren't innocent in this situation that was like the main thing i, I wanted to kind of address which i kind I of had an really alibi was. going on yeah it, it's like it's like you weren't it wasn't you just told me that some guys are mining bitcoin or whatever the hell and like that's where the money was coming from you made up a lie right off the bat saying it was your mom who won the lottery then you mm-hmm. made up a lie saying that she buy these certain things with it to make it seem more realistic. Then you made up a lie saying that you got a certain amount of money. Then you made up a lie promising. And it, like it kept, you kept making up the lies and kept spinning it further and further and further. And it was like, you're getting deeper into this hole. And then, you know, b- towards the end, obviously, you were just saying such absurd things. You were like, you know, oh, well, you know, it, it, it's all good. I'm getting myself a monitor, a PC. You'll get a PC. I'm getting myself keyboards. And even Sam B and others were like, why... Like, how is this even, like, how is this even plausible? Like, there, there's no way, shape or form that he's getting a PC, keyboard, mouse, all that. Like, he had a budget limit, I thought, like, his mum gave him. And it just, it kept kind of swirling from there. Because obviously, inherently, I had to not believe it. I Obviously, I was like, I was in belief with it. But I was like, you know, I have to kind of still be smart enough to go, like, I, I've got to look for any sort of loopholes or any sort of, like, parts here that just don't seem realistic or just don't make any sense. And I, I found plenty, you know what I'm saying? Um... And it kind of progressed from there, but you got in the game for free, as I said. And that was kind of where it was like, all right, now he's he's taking advantage of it. So if he's lying, not only has he lied to me, but he's also like directly like taking money from me because he's not donated to get in here. He's just taking advantage of it, um, and he's getting free public like free publicity to an extent, of course, from it as well. Because when he joins, everybody's like, oh my god, yeah, Dragon's actually you know the absolute best and whatnot. Um, but then yeah, so we we progressed in the timeline. You know, you're using it, you're taking advantage of, it. and this goes on for like I don't know how how long would you say? I'd say about two weeks, three weeks. It's like just it was it was all chill it was just like it was kind of you know a bit like all right this is still a bit weird but we, we believe it and you were saying the pc was going to come and at first it was like you're going to send it and then it was like oh i'll deliver it myself and then from it there, slowly it was, got a little bit too unbelievable yeah yeah that and that was the main thing because like well what happened after that it was you said that it got delayed that was this was kind of uh, just before yeah. we this is kind of just before everything went like wrong 
um you'd said that it got delayed i don't know if you want to tell that part of the story i don't know if you know it all like all that well like I'm, I'm sure you do obviously of course but like if you want to kind of like go and be like all right let me let me say this part this will this is kind of how you saw it um so the night before everything had went down that's how i've referred to ever ever, ever since uh, like th when it went down um the night before i'd message you saying like hey the pcs have been delayed um like there might be another week two weeks i don't know something like that and you were like okay yeah can you can you send me a photo of the email that they sent you and i was like yeah sure thing just give me a minute or whatever um and i'd went on to my email and found a most recent email that i had and just edited it and made it look like it was from god PC you Star really Wars fabricated that <laughs> yeah <laughs> jesus yeah, it was uh, that's that's kind of where it was like you know even in, even now like i was like you know you can't plead like you can't plead ignorance so you were like at this point you were like getting maniacal with it you're like i'm trying to really cover my tracks and trying to lie i mean i i can pull up the exact messages here right so um i mean i i'll, I'll share a screen now. i don't know if it'll be a good enough wi-fi we'll see where this goes so hopefully it isn't too bad okay so we'll try and do this right now share this yeah, my internet's already crashed um, we had a pterodactyl yeah, attack my, my apologies for this right now one second chrome tab i got this here right one second so I'm going to just try and share this to the to the absolute best of my ability, okay? So let's just try and share this here like this. All right, so let me know if y'all can see this, um, how this looks. Is it okay quality? One second, let me pull up here like that. Okay, we're going to try and maybe zoom in a little bit so we can read the messages like that. Is that a little bit better? A little bit better there, isn't it? It's quite pixelated, but yeah. Yeah, it's quite, okay. yeah. Right, okay. Well, you maybe can't read that well. I can see it decently, but hopefully, uh, you know, it'll pick up <clears throat> quality-wise. So anyway, um, let me see you here one second. You messaged on the 1st of the 8th, 2021. And this is what you said you put. Ayo hey, Joe, uh, what's it? Just letting you know the PCs have both been delayed for another month because of the graphics uh, the graphics card shortage and the company literally doesn't have any left for us. That's a sin I can. Now, this was at like 1 or I know what not AM. I could just swear. Like this was late, I'm pretty sure. you Like you initially mm -hmm. messaged me that. Kind of late. So I know. Like, let me know by the way if there's any issues like Wi-Fi wise or anything. Um, <clears throat> now then you put it's a sin I can, right? And then I put, oh, fuck, man. I did the email, you know. When I was messaging this, I was live on, I think it was Twitch at the time. I yeah. Mean, was I, think, I was live on Twitch and, like, I, I'd seen this because we were, we were just, what it was was I was live on Twitch and while I was live, we were discussing oh, you. You've, you've cut out a little bit. Have I? Yeah, I think it's just, just sharing this. Maybe close this. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll stop sharing this right now. One sec, go like that. Yeah, there we are. That's so much right. better. There you go. I'll, right, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Right. But I'll, I'll continue to try and read it, right? But like, so while you had messaged that, I, or while I messaged back saying, oh, it's a sin, you know, like all this, I was currently live on Twitch, right? So I was, we were actually, honestly, moments before we were just speaking about you. We were like, oh, yeah, Dragon, you know, do we believe it? Uh, that's a bit mad. And I still remember, I'll never forget, we're still working on the bridge and whatnot on Minecraft or at Orcs Place. Um, and Xavier was there and Sam B and a bunch of other people. And we we're sitting discussing it. And we're like, I, this seems so unbelievable. There's so many loopholes, there's so many things. I don't really get it. I, I don't know. And then I checked and you said this and whatnot. And I read it out and that's why I messaged you back. And I put, oh, fuck, man. Did they email you? And this was kind of like my, my trap card because I was like, all right, well, you know, if, if you say yes. He I'm has to provide you. evidence. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to provide evidence at this point. Like, I, I, I want some solid evidence because before this, I'd asked for evidence. And you'd went, oh, yeah, one second. And you sent me the PayPal receipt. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Like, and it was—it looked really real. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I, all right, cool, cool, cool. I believe you. Fair enough. But then I said, I put, oh fuck, man, did the email with you? You responded back by saying, yeah. I put, I'm guessing just last night. You put, yeah. I put, let me see the email. And again, at this point, I'm I'm live at this point. And then you put, I have so many emails XD. Hold on, I'll look for it. And like, you know, obviously, what were you thinking at this point in time when I'm asking this? Like, were you kind of panicking, or was it like, what was? Yeah. That? I was like under pressure. I was, I, I, I was like feeling the adrenaline at that point. Yeah, because I can imagine it's like all of a sudden it's like shit. What do I do? Like, yeah. I've been asked for evidence. Like, what do I do? He, like, you know, you're kind of at this point where it's like, fuck. What do you do? Um. So you put, yeah. Again, I have so many emails. XD. Hold on, I'll look for it. I put no worries. XD. And then I think you took like about ten minutes, something like that. And you put, mm -hmm. I might have deleted it. And at this point, kind of, that's really the bullshit radar was just flying off the handles. I'm like, you wouldn't delete just, that. It, it, because yeah. like, because the thing is, right, like I've ordered my PC and it's come and it's just like, oh, I can go and collect it from from now to the 19th of February. I've screenshotted and saved and archived all of that because I've spent a grand. So I'm like, what, what, you know, anyone that would and, delete that email is already a bit of a red flag. Yeah, you're, it's so. fucking silly. And that's how you put, I might have deleted it face palm. And at this point, I'm, I'm you know, 
I'm still live. Everybody in the stream is going, this is this is shit. This right here is bullshit. Cut the act. This is bullshit. We got to look into it. Um, and I was insistent. I was like, I'm going to just make them, like, I, I personally, I was like, I'm going to make them panic. I want them to, like, seriously have to start, like, either show me the proof or you're, you're bullshitting. And then you put, uh, or I put double check, bro. No way you could have deleted it. You put, can't find it. Like a, like one of those kind of emojis where it's like, oh, can't find it. And uh, then you put, uh, off the top of my head, though, it said, in quotes, we are sorry to tell you, but your order has been delayed due to a shortage of graphics cards. But you meant to put cards. And then it went on to with saying it may take a month or so before they are back in stock. If you don't want to wait that long, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to get one off Gumtree or whatever. Now, that was like that single statement right there, you know, like the whole like if, uh, if you know, if you don't wait that long, get one off Gumtree. That was like the that was me. Like at that point, I lost my cool. Like I was angry with you because I was like, like, you wouldn't say that if you just spent thousands of pounds buying someone a PC. Why would you say, oh, just go buy another one? Like I was like, why would you say that? Unless it's obviously bullshit, you know? And I, I was livid because I'm like, you know, I, obviously the main thing that got me wound up was like just before you done all this, I was actually like actively weekly every single day pretty much looking for PCs. And, you know, for me, I wasn't like I'm going to buy a brand new one right out of the, you know, right out of the factory because one, it's, it can be way overpriced and two, I can get better for cheaper if I look on other sites, which is like Gumtree. And that's what I was doing. But like I stopped because you had made these promises of like, oh, hey, like I, I can get you this. You know what I mean? Like that was the whole the whole premise. I can confirm that, by the way. I remember you were looking for a PC for a, a very long time yeah, yeah, because I, it was that whole when you record and do everything on like strictly on a bad PC or on PlayStation, you're very restricted. You're stuck in game. If things crash, you're done. Um, so having that external PC is like a big change and a big step up in content creation. Yeah. So having that kind of promised you and then taken away is like a big kick in the face. So I can understand uh, oh, why yeah. you can be so annoyed about that. Yeah, well, I, I so. was, I was, I was livid, right? Because at this point, I'm like, you know, you're bullshitting. Like, I, you know, I'm not happy now. Like, I, I, do you mind if I ask? Obviously, I think we did ask this in the when you eventually got in a call and whatnot. But I, I'm intrigued. You know, you put, you know, off the top of my head, we're well, sorry, we'll have it back in a, you know, a month or a month or whatnot. Like, they'll have it back in stock like were you seriously if i just accepted that would you have seriously do you think just went along with it for another month just kind of continued like the the whole kind of it's coming don't worry taking advantage of like the free invites to games or not like that's kind of where like uh, my, my mind that wonder, uh, wonders excuse me yeah I, th I think i would have i mean but at this point you did at this point did you not already know that it was 100 percent fake well no I, I still hadn't heard back from the friends about the stealing the bitcoin or anything like that I, well, I thought you had because, like, at this point, I remember Sam B saying, like, he already knew, like, he spoke to you privately that day. I'm pretty sure, and you'd already told him that, like, it was fake. You were something like that. You just didn't know what to tell me. I don't know. Let me. I, I could have swore, but anyway, so it, pro it progresses from there, and it, like this point, it's like now we're going downhill, right? Um, you're like, oh, wait, no, you know, yeah. You're... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I did talk to Sam during the stream, and I told him, yeah, no, it was all BS and all that yeah so you know yeah. you like at this point you knew it wasn't true like there was no getting pc no money and it's like that's kind of where like now you've become the bad guy fully because it's like i think joseph would agree here as well because it's like at this point you've now transferred from you know you actually like i think when you start innocent. forging stuff is when you become the bad yeah, guy yeah yeah mm -hmm. when you start you're fabricating it yeah and then it's like at this point you fully knew you're not an idiot you know you fully knew at this point like the, this wasn't happening right but you've continued it and you like i mean like you said if, if i had to wait another month there that would potentially make me lose the pc that i got or whatever like you know i mean because it would that would be me waiting even longer so it was it was really bad that's why i took it so severe but i put go to your delete emails because i remember sam b was like hey i'll be in, you know it stays in your delete emails and you put it's just a bunch of scams it would take years to find it i will try to look for it now at this point it's like i again like you said the adrenaline's pumping you know you're you're kind of like that there's no going out of this here he's not going to stop um i put uh what's it you can also search for in your email search bar even if it's the lead and then you sent me this really kind of like um it's really kind of shoddy email obviously it was like a, it was a photo from your phone it said shipping delays was like the subject pc specialist uh and you proper like i don't know you went to such a degree of like fabricating it you made it like first of august 2021 uh, it was sent at 2 52 a.m zero days ago hello planet we are starting to inform you, but we are currently, was it we have currently run out of the graphics card that you specified. If you want, uh, if you like to cancel your order, then go to HTT and it's got the, like the website. If you like to wait for the item to arrive back in stock, then you may be expecting delays up to two months or up to, I think it was a month or two months. I'm not too sure. I think it was two months. Uh, your friends at PC Specialist. And again, this is where like, again, like what Joseph said, like, you know, you start fabricating and you become the bad guy, right? Because it's like at this point, you're, 
you're going really like Machiavellian kind of like level of like actual like or Machiavellian whatever it is like levels of like you know genius or like trying to fabricate and lie about this you're, you're not only trying to cover your tracks but you're also making up false email addresses and false emails and all of this um and then it was like i mean how how did you even make that email did you what, what did you say you modified an older email or something uh yeah i just went onto my email and just found the first one and just like changed it and what like that was it just i just modified it yeah so from there i'm like can you send a clearer photo uh haha and i'm, I'm trying to keep my cool at this point in time but in the stream obviously i'm, I'm getting heated because i'm like yo this is winding me up you send a clearer photo and you put it's not letting me send it in good quality uh shipping delays and you put like the whole thing like you kind of copy pasted it put forward me the email please and you i think you did holding uh, was it hold on find my mic because i i was like forward me the email and i think you did forward me the email you don't i'm not too sure um and i was like let's just call like at this point i was on stream still live and i was like let's just call i'm still done and we called and then it was like from there you were still even on the call you were trying to lie about it like i know if you recall like the first call like we got onto like it's like this was during then that day i think you were at your dad's or something i can't recall what the full thing was i think you were at your dad's or something and you're like oh i need to get back to my mom's or you know something like that right um and do correct me if I'm wrong. And then you're like, Can I need to go back to my mom's. Yeah. And then I think you go back to your mom's. You made the first call and you could tell you were anxious. Like, I, I mean, what was it like going into that call? Like, were you just like, fuck, what did I, what did I say here? Uh, yeah. So can I also just say something real quick? Um, yeah. I also lied about being at my dad's. I was at my dad's earlier that day, but because I was panicking, I was like, okay, I need like 20 minutes to just like get my just cool, to, get what Yeah, I need. just to try and like, yeah, just, just to, to try and yeah. stabilize. Yeah. God damn so you were at your mom's though obviously at this point um you, you've taken 20 minutes you you, you know you kind of cool down in your opinion right then we got on a call and you could hear the i remember in the call you were like hell anxious obviously which you know fair enough you would be um we called though and then obviously it was just it just seemed like complete bullshit and everybody was sitting like every you know myself xavier axel sam b really like er, you know, honestly I mean, we had a fleet of people just combing through this email just trying to look, look for any you know uh you know any like you know Audrey. Yeah, any forgery, any like poor, you know, literature or any poor, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, grammar, any, like anything. And like even the website you linked was just a dead, it was a dead website, it was a dead address. It, no, it never went anywhere. Um, well, that and, wasn't and a good point. thing to do, it's pretty well done. I what, like, yeah, you got to kind of like, to some extent, although it's nothing to be like proud of, it's kind of, you got to kind of commend the level of like effort you put into it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like, that's the thing. Um, but then, yeah, so I said, then you messaged, and this is kind of where like the whole thing kind of went sideways now this was exactly when you sent this message it says for me it was at uh four or 254 i believe it is yeah 254 or in fact no sorry 454 excuse me um you put all right i gotta come clean i was told i was gonna and this again you lied in here as well obviously but we'll talk about this right now you put all right i gotta come clean i was told i was gonna get a bunch of money or i was gonna get some money from a friend i was then told that it was all a joke and that they made it super believable so because i believed uh, him so much i spill it uh, was it, i spill it or i, I think it's i, I spilt my spill. tongue i spilt yeah. my tongue excuse me uh telling you i was going to or i would be getting us both pcs and i believed what i said and so did you but a few days ago i got told that it was a joke and you kept saying you'd be so disappointed in me if i was joking so i kept going i have now realized it's gone too far so i'm sorry you can't uh, you can ban me from your channel whenever i won't be mad at you if you did but i am truly and deeply sorry and then you sent a message saying i shouldn't have kept it going but i did because i really didn't want to disappoint you but again i'm so sorry you can say whatever like why did you believe him though it's because i believe everything until proven it wrong which i think it's i feel like such a, a, a very silly response i mean i understand why you were like obviously in the moment you're upset and whatnot because you were like you were really upset at this point um like i, I can understand the response but like i i believe everything until proven wrong like that's such a silly thing to even acknowledge like to have as like a mindset Everything well, I have ADHD, much. so like I I can't understand if people are joking with me or anything like that. That doesn't ADHD doesn't affect that, from my understanding. It does. ADHD doesn't affect you being able to understand if somebody's joking. That just makes you like uh, ADHD stands for what is it? Um, hyperactive attention, disorder. It's, yeah, attention. <laughs> It was a, attention. AD, a, 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 attention deficit disorder. It was or it used to be. Uh, what's the ADD used to be? It just it used to just be ADD, and then they put ADHD. You know I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but let me just check right now. What ADHD. I think it's attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think it makes your attention spend disorder. less, like. Attentive. It makes it harder for you to pay attention. From but that I doesn't it. that doesn't. It doesn't make you. I, I yeah. hate, I'm not denying that there are some things out there that can make it harder for people. I don't think it's ever really an excuse. I've heard so many people say, 
oh, it's because of this, it's because of that. And, and and the thing is, right, this is where my... I'm, I'm a very realistic thinker, unfortunately, which makes me very sad. Um, but You're not a liar. If you're, a, if you're that self-aware of the issue, you can easily fix it. Oh, yeah, yeah. A, a like, it might not be an easy thing to do, but if you're that self-aware to the point where the problem is, oh, it's because I have this, as well, if you're that conscious to think, oh, I have this, then you should counteract that. I think I think you even now, man, trying to say it's because of ADD. Like you're you're using you're trying to like you're trying to pillow the reasoning. Like man, th this wasn't because of ADD. This or ADHD. This wasn't because of this or this. This was because of you being naive enough and stupid enough to believe in this stuff. You know, I I honest, I know people with ADHD 100 percent and whatnot, and I I wouldn't say that they are even like this. They they would believe this kind of stuff because it is it's such a naive thing to believe. Truly, because it's look at this. I'm now. the same way. I've got a few people that know <laughs> yeah, it as well. Yeah. Oh lord. <laughs> Like hell, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's all bad. Looking like Flubber Jumbledum from Mars. Oh my god, it hurts. You know what I'm saying? But it's fine. But like, it's uh, been but no, thinking I, too hard. I, I, that's what it is. But I think it is, it is so naive. But anyway, though, after this, we got in the first call. Then you, you hung up and then you were like, oh, you know, whatever. You had to go away. Or then you sent, you sent me that message, right? And then there was that. And then from there, it was we jumped in another call, I believe, afterwards. And then that was where, like, or I think you joined our party on PlayStation. And that was kind of where it all kind of went downhill. You were in tears. You're upset. I wasn't, I'm very happy the way I handled the situation because although I was very angry, of course, inherently and obviously deservingly, um, I didn't exactly, I wasn't trying to, you know, make you more upset or more angry and what I even mentioned this in my personal vlogs, which I don't think you've watched, have you? You didn't see you watched them. Uh, I know you. I had watched them after the call. The oh, okay, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I mentioned in them, these run marks are actually ridiculously bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, it's, it's, I didn't think it'd be this I'm bad. so going to just zoom in on those. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, and, and even in the personal vlogs I mentioned that you know it was like I, I was very happy the way I handled the situation I wasn't trying to go at you or trying to make you more upset and more angry I can understand that you were hella emotional hella upset because you know at that point in time man I mean like I, and I meant it when I said it you know you had lost so much you know like, like hey fuck it not even just like my, my, my personal like friendship with you or mentoring or whatever you want to call it you hadn't only just lost that and a, a good friend but you'd also lost like his community and really your community as well because you know the thing was your community and mine were so intertwined you you are what i would consider one of the sub communities i'm not saying you haven't built your own stuff you definitely have right you've got your own community and your own people but a lot of the people that are actively there you know roly sam b uh, bella you know plenty of people there are a lot of people that are actively there xavier etc were all people that were from my community and my side of the pond so when you done what you done you you continue to lie about it we got a call and you continue to lie about it to the point where sam b was like hey i'm gonna come in here if i have to come in here i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you straight front what you said don't don't lie to me because at, at first you were trying to cover for the guys who originally done the the bitcoin th uh, stuff were you not like i don't know if you want to try and explain that more because maybe i can't do that much justice but you're trying I to cover for them i can't remember exactly what i'd said throughout the call i just remember like crying and like telling you i'm sorry and all that That's yeah all well, it was I really remember from that call from from my recollection it was that you were you were trying to kind of defend them because i think one of them said that they would dox you if you if you told anybody or something like that or like they would i know i don't know if you remember this like you like i, I think we saw a video or a screenshot or something like that it was something like that but you had apparently showed something where it was like they, they said that they would dox you or they would like a proper expose you or something like that or do some sort of like really shitty thing like give it your address or something um if you told anybody about what they do and you were scared about that and that was apparently your initial like reasoning for which is kind of uh, ironic when you've got two strangers on the like two yeah. strangers uh addresses online you know yeah that that was it, it was quite like that was the irony in it you know what i mean um because immediately as soon as like i found it was fake that was like being genuine that was like my biggest fear i was like well you know you know where i live like you like you still do like you know where i live you know what i'm saying you have my private information you know my number but which is a lot of information to have i've had it a few times and i know the 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 burden of carrying that as well because people are you know obviously if you're not super close i'm i'm, I'm sure i'm close enough for you to trust me joe i think i've yeah, had yeah, yours yeah. a few joe, times joe, throughout joe, my joe, lifetime yeah yeah, yeah. But, joe, joe and i can exchange address i can well, imagine I if i was someone else and I was an ass and some random person who could snap like that, like any human can. Um, I could imagine the fear behind that because I don't think it's a fear of people coming to get you. It's the fear of if a lot of people know where you live. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like the fear of like, we've all heard about people, streamers, content creators being raided. Raided, like these, you yeah. Know, like swatted, raided, whatever. And it's like, that's a, that's a genuine fear. I mean, some people might be like, oh, it's not going to happen. Bullshit there's people being it's so easy left right center and it's yeah make a call oh he's got a gun or oh he's got someone hostage or he's got knives like it 
I'm like, I don't want that. Like nobody has to deal with that. Nobody wants to. And for me, in my point of view, you know, you're this emotional kid basically, who's got my address and got my private information and Travis's. It's an emotional one. child with power. So. Yeah, you, you have you have something that a lot of people could you know use. I mean, because you've been annexed and kicked out of the community, and we we went even harder in it. You of course of the, the a few days later of the the planet dragons downfall, our dragons downfall episode, obviously TFP episode nineteen. Um, but like you know, we were there was a genuine fear among us, among me and uh, uh, Travis, uh, like that we were going to get doxxed and we were going to get issues to start with us. I mean, at one point, you know, I'll, I'll be real with you. I even remember speaking to Sam B, and I think someone said they had your address, and uh, we were like genuinely like, hey, listen, like you know, like we're having to prepare for the worst. Like it, it might sound horrible, and someone might be like, that's terrible. Fuck it is. Like I, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it, but though there was a part of us that were like, you know, hey, if you try and do shit to us, we will like we have your address. We'll, we can do the exact same shitty shit to you no, none of us would want to do that but like that was the point like i think sam b said he had your mom's number and like shit like that which sounds kind of like a, a joke but like he said he had your mom's phone number and who was, doesn't like, i'm tricking yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 god, uh, god uh, that is that is a that's a cool one you're saying like there was um there was a, there was a part of us it was like you know if you try any shit like jokes us, like you know you're this kid we're like these adults we can you know we can do a lot more and we're not going to have somebody to try and dox us because i mean i mean dragon you already know you know you've been in the community for a while and whatnot and even with getting kicked out and whatnot i have a lot of people that dislike me you know there's not a lot a lot but there's a there's a good few people that are just maniacal just insane like insane lunatics we, we dealt with a couple not too long ago um and it, it's just like there's people that just highly dislike me and just want to just try and tear down whatever i built up and just try and ruin things and just trying to make a make a point out of me which uh, is horrible and all, but those people exist. And what they would do for that information is uh, limitless. Like they would, they would legitimately give you anything for that information just to know about having my address or where I live currently. Then people you know, scalp your Facebook a while ago. Yeah, I, I had a guy. I mean, perfect example. I had this guy. Um, I don't want to mention names, but he uh, was a fan Don't of the channel, a, a friend to an extent. I was decent off like with you, Dragon, as well. There was a there was a kind of friendship to an extent there with this guy. Not as much, obviously, as it was with you, but like well, there was a decent ish friendship. I added him on Facebook and biggest mistake I could make, started trying to find out, you know, who my family members were, my friends was, like my ex, you know, like trying to message people, etc. Like saying, oh, this is what he does. He does YouTube. Like this sort of insane shit. And I had to immediately lock down everything. My Facebook currently is all locked down. Like, I, I, I mean, y'all know, it, y'all, both of you have me on Facebook. Everything's totally locked down. There's nothing on the account. And that's exactly why. Uh, Instagrams, everything, old, any old accounts of my socials of mine, I had to get rid of everything because I was like, hey, we ain't going to have that. Like, not today. We're not going to have any of that happening. I, you know, I got to protect my friends, my family, my, myself as well, more importantly. You know, I'm going to make sure that everything's fine. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, that happened. You left the call, obviously. Initially, you're upset. You know, you're quite emotional and whatnot, inherently, with it all happening right off the bat. Um, and then, I mean, what was what was it like after that? Because obviously, you know, it was kind of like as soon as that had happened, as soon as you got the call and you're upset and whatnot, I, you know, you were hella distraught, obviously, on the call. Like, you were hyperventilating everything. It was it was bad. Um, I mean, what what was the after like what was the aftermath of that for you? Um, it was miserable for me, honestly. I, I, I I'd contemplated suicide at some points as well. I'd talked Fucking to Hilo up. about it because I still had contact with Hilo and um, can't remember who else. But there was there was two people that I still had contact with, and uh, I'd talked to Hilo about it, and he had said like just go on a walk, just like clear your head, so like don't just don't do it, just clear your head. It's funny how drastic um, the thought process can be because I I have been on the receiving end of the wrath of a cat, and uh, at a young age, so I'm also familiar with what it's like to be stressed out over something that to you can seem so big. Um, it's I, I wouldn't have said i contemplated suicide no but no. um you know it's just it's one of those things that i can i can understand that it can come across more drastically to someone who's obviously not fully developed so i understand why you I, I probably think, would have went that wrong that way I, I think for you obviously i think it was also like you know people got to understand you didn't you know and this is why we kind of initially uh, you know agreed to have you on the show dragon of course and do this kind of final trilogy you know third episode and it was because for us, there was that realization that, you know, you had lost everything. I mean, like, you hadn't lost... I mean, yeah, you stole yourself, stole your, you know, place... Yeah, you stole, you know, you stole your stuff. But it was, like, everything that really seemed like it meant a lot to you personally was gone. You know, like, you lost your friendship with bigger YouTubers, with other content creators, etc. You lost your relationship with the community. You lost your own community to an extent. I mean, you stopped people there, but again like we'd annexed you like as to, that's what i say to people you know my community always feels like it's kind of the hub and then all these other sub communities form and that's great but 
if you fuck me over or fuck over the community, like, you're going to get annexed from all of them because we're like a tight-knit family. That's what's so good about us. And that's how it works so well. Um, and it, it felt like you lost that. I mean, after that, you know... It was literally just... wanted posters everywhere. Your face no, was it, everywhere, so... It, it was it was ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it was, it was bad, man. It was bad. And, I mean, I, I think that kind of brings us to our, our first main question. I know it's like, holy shit, we've been here for a while. We're not talking about the first question. I really wanted us <laughs> to... About an hour. I, yeah, I wanted us to really get kind of caught... I was wondering when to jump in, but I was like, this is, this is going... Yeah, no, I just wanted us to discuss this, obviously, and get, like, caught up with everything that happened, right? Um, but, I mean, so going on from there, I mean, this brings in the first question. Fantastic go, way to go through it. Um, I mean, in these past six months now, because it has been six months since uh, everything happened, obviously, which is quite surreal to think. Almost six months. I think it's just a little bit under. But in these past six months since everything transpired, you've, from my point of view, completely lost your passion for doing YouTube and making content overall. You've uploaded only six times in six months, three of which were just live streams, and your channel has gone from 7.45k subscribers back in August when this initially happened, now to 7.34k subscribers, with you slowly still losing more and more and more subs and just siphoning more every month. Um, with that in mind, you know, do you feel like your ship has already kind of sailed when it comes down to you doing YouTube full time or becoming a big YouTuber, or do you still do you still in your own mind think you still have a chance to succeed or find success with the platform? Uh, in my head, I think I still have a chance to either restart entirely or to <laughs> to continue from where I am. But I, I I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, even for your lack of making content, it's because for me it's quite an awkward thing, obviously, right? That's why I'm laughing because awkward. But it, 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 the truth is, it's like even for your making content, you've made what three videos and three live streams in the past six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, why is that? Would you just say, like, has your passion gone for doing content? Would you say it's just not, it hasn't been there since obviously everything happened? Uh, yeah, no, I just, I just, uh, I just, I didn't have the passion for it, and I kind of stopped it as well, just out of respect in a way. If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like it's like yeah. it's, you know, you've done. Do you reckon wrong. this is a demotivation slump, or do you think this is like you on your way out type of thing, where it's like, yeah, I want to do something else, you know, just mm. like. Uh, I think it was just a demotivation slump. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about going back, but I'm just not sure if I can get back to where I was. What do you think that's going to entail? Do you think you're going to like rebrand, or are you going to really try off what you've got? Or, um, I think I'm going to try and rebrand, but I'm not sure yet. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Shall I move on to a third question? Because I think we do questions on this podcast. We do occasionally, <laughs> on the odd occasion. Awesome. All right. So back in August, you supposedly mentioned that you had a spreadsheet that had the addresses of both Catman Joe and Z Bruce. Is this true? And if not, how do you think that the rumor came about? Uh, it is true. But it was I don't true. know how everyone oh. find out about it. <laughs> uh, I, I, mean, I, did I, delete, I did delete the spreadsheet after like a few what days. Was this on like it. Google Docs or something? Ed Word. <laughs> why, why did you come on why is it not on at least powerpoint like, or something? Why, why did you make it special even to begin with? here here's the powerpoint here is joe's address <laughs> but like why why would you make one to begin with like what was what was the premise of that because like it's one thing writing it down or like typing Hit it list. like um making a spreadsheet it, is a like, quite a big thing i'd write it down when i'd gotten the addresses from both of you just so i could remember them right you, you didn't need them for when but <laughs> At that time, I still thought I was going to get the PCs because I was so, I was stupid. I, I can't recall. I mean, did you have anybody else's addresses, dare I ask? Or was it just uh, me no. and Travis? Just, just me, me and Travis. Travis. Um, I mean, it is one of those things. I mean, did you have them now? No. Being being genuine, you don't have them Yeah, now? I'm 100% genuine now. I don't. So you don't have the address. Like, you probably still have the addresses somewhere, but not on, no. the, not on the spread. No. No. I could, I could show you literally every single one of my files, every single one of my Word documents. I don't have it. Hmm. Hmm. I, I feel like there's still a part of me that kind of doesn't believe that because obviously inherently you can have anything everywhere. Uh, but I mean, obviously, of course, I you can have to take your word with it. I can't really prove otherwise, but I'm just, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where, again, it's such a surreal thing to have happen, you know, to have your address and all your kind of information out there, you know, because, again, it's like, oops, whoopsie, just drop that file. <laughs> now somebody has his address, you know, that's kind of like the, the real worry inherently. That it's quite real it's quite genuine um which kind of sucks i mean with, with that though, i can't remember how the actual rumor got out but we had the rumor about the spreadsheet thing and we mentioned i think in a in a in dragon's downfall and the thing uh, you said you'd watch that that's another kind of small thing dragon's downfall did you watch all of it 
Uh, I'd watched about half of it, but I I just couldn't continue watching it, and also I had to actually go as well to Air Cadets. What, to Air Cadets? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Well, um, I mean, so did you ever find a time to watch the other half, or was it just like you, you when when you say you couldn't watch it, was it, was it just you didn't like, like what you were hearing? I, it, was it, it hurt like me like, to watch it. Yeah, I mean, we in, in all fairness, I think I, I've said this to Joseph, and whatnot. I'm not proud of Dragon's Downfall, the episode. I mean, I, I think we could have handled it on a much more mature mindset. Well, what was we that? Had... Was that the live stream or the one we did? That was the live stream. The live, the live stream. stream. The live stream. Yeah, I wasn't really in that, so. No, I think, you know, again, in hindsight, you know, we look back at things and we obviously reflect and we grow, right? And, you know, for me personally, jokes aside and whatnot, um, you know, with Dragon's Downfall, we felt like, and I, I still say to this day, that was like one of those episodes, like the Super Shifter one, I think Joseph would agree. It felt more. There was a lot of emotion. That's what it was, and we shouldn't. We not. We I don't think like to make episodes when we do the, that. The super shiftery one, I feel like, is more direct because it was to him. Yeah, so I don't yeah. feel as bad, yeah. and, and also well, I still one. think he is scum. Uh, yeah. But I think the the dragon's downfall one, like that other one, does feel a bit slanderous. Yeah, it, it felt like we were going quite at you, and I, you know, I think I, I think obviously inherently you could say what you wish. You know, like people could. I and I did have people going, "Oh, you were." You know, you're a fucking idiot for believing them. And it's like, you know, you know, in my mind, it, it wasn't even like I was trying to be naive or stupid. And I know it's kind of like, I've already said that you were quite naive and stupid and you were for believing in these other people. But it was for me, it was like we had such a good friendship and the amount of lies that you spun to make it more believable really did start to make it believable. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, yeah, all right, even with all these lies included, the fact that you asked for the address and whatnot, and you went that far knowing that, that if this was like wrong, it would, it would ruin everything. The whole friendship, everything would be jeopardized. It was like I had to kind of believe you. I was like, no, there's no way this could be not true, and that was kind of where I was like, mm, you know, like fuck, it has to be honest. Um, but I, I do feel like Dragon's Downfall, myself, Rolly, Sambi, and Travis, and obviously Joseph at the beginning, I felt very angry at the point in time, of course, and, and obviously it was understandable. This was on the third. This all came out on the first. We fell out with you on the first. The second, then it was like that was the third. It was like two days later we recorded the uh, dra dra Dragon's Downfall, and. Um, it felt bad. It felt bad, you know. At, at, at that point in time, myself and not really, I don't know why Rolly so much did, but Rolly, Sam, myself, and uh, Travis especially, of course, me and Travis mainly, we had a lot of hatred, a lot of a lot of vile towards you. We, we just, we were not happy. We were like, you know, this guy, fuck him. Like, he just, that was such a low ball move because me and Travis were desperate and that was kind of the thing, you know. I, I don't think you fully understood the, the bigger picture behind it for especially myself and Travis and why it took us it took us back so much when we when we found it was fake because it was like it meant so much to us getting it you know and having that pc and having that that big change in circumstances for what was happening for us personally at the time and that's so with the downfall episode we just we just tried to tear into you we we're like you know this guy let's just tear apart everything the the patreon the your channel it was essentially the, the easiest way to yeah it, it was it was the first time in a long time i've done what felt more like a bash or a rant video it's not been like since i was like 17 16 since i've done one of those the no more um, Mm, yeah back, back then and uh it was it was one of those things where it, it felt good in the moment but afterwards i was like yo this was a not not a good episode especially because it was one that made up a, a record for the longest episode in the show thankfully isn't now um but it was also the introduction of like the stream yard usage obviously like this before we got professional and i know it, it was it was quite a, a very unique kind of time in general um i, I think something that kind of comes as a question it's kind of this another question we have here and it's, I, I think a good one honestly i think you hopefully agree um and this was regarding, uh, you know, people accusing you of stealing other people's content and re-uploading it. Um, is, is that true? Uh, I got them off of Discord, but technically yes. Well, not well, technically, yeah, just, so. definitely yes. Yeah, that is definitely yes. I mean, because I remember, I think it was Rolly or Sambi, I can't recall who it was. Somebody had, uh, somebody, while we were doing Dragon's Downfall, they were proper bashing because apparently your videos were being stolen. And getting re-uploaded by other people. I don't know if you can confirm that. I don't know. Uh, like you, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So your 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 content was being stolen. Do you know what the and, channel was? What they were uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they would taken the video and like instead of the Rick roll at the end, uh, it was just an explosion like blowing up my entire street or whatever. Oh shit! Oh wow, <laughs> that's quite. Oh, I'm gonna say, but like, um, not really. Yeah. They've at least changed it. It's not a blatant mm, re-upload. Yeah. But it was like they taken that kind of stuff and apparently you had striked him is that right or you like you corporate uh, no it... no did you not corporate claim that's what sambi was saying no. i think the yeah, apparently that you you are annoyed by it. you're like this is you know fucking a rage and fair enough you know it's your content but it's kind of like you can't you know you can't have your cake and eat it too you know what i mean like you can't oh this is outrageous but i can i, I completely agree uh, uh but i also just think like 
th th there's a limitation to when you can be upset. Like, because let's be honest, right? That that video is, is shit post, right? Yeah. If, if someone transforms slightly shit post, if anything, that's a benefit. Like, yeah, the, the, that's the, the idea. More... People will take the same thing and keep adding on to it. That's kind of the idea. So yeah. I wouldn't personally be mad, but you know, to each his own. Yeah, teachers are. But I mean, I think I was kind of like a big point that got used against you was the, the concept of, you know, you're stealing other people's content and you're re-uploading it. But, and you know, that that's fine and dandy, but then they can't do the same to you. And it's like, ah, uh, you can't really, you can't, <laughs> you can't have it that way, not that way. You know, you have to kind of either have it one way or the other. Uh, and you were trying to have it both. So, I mean, I know that was a, that was a, an accusation against you. Speaking of the stolen videos, have you taken them down? Is there any there that uh, are yeah. still stolled? Good, good. I've good. taken them all down. Yeah, it's like the Patreon. I mean, that was something that I think we were going to mention. You know, you taking down the Patreon. We spoke about that initially. You've taken down a few of the other things, have you not? Yeah, a few, a few things in general. Yes. Hmm. Well, going off like the whole accusation stuff, because uh, this was quite. This is this is more the stuff between me and me and yourself. Um, well, I basically I started editing for you um, a while back. I can't remember when. I did two edits. I think. I think I did three. Yeah. Two. Two or three. Uh, and basically, something that was used quite heavily against you was when we originally kicked you out of the community was the fact that you had allegedly asked multiple people from within our community for money. Is this true? And if so, when you asked these people for money, was it a joke or in your opinion, or was it just serious? You know, I mean, I know the answer to this, but I want to hear it from you. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did ask other people for money. Mm. I don't remember who told me or sent me a screenshot, but I know... I did get sent a screenshot saying like what the fuck um you know uh, asking you were asking people to pay me you, for you your were... edit yeah yeah sorry i, I was gonna say well, I, I remember those the, yeah sorry i'll let you guys go ahead what i was asking was for them to give me the 20 pounds to pay you back and then i was gonna pay them back after that so then like i thought of you as like a higher interest debt and then was like a lower interest debt so i could pay them off like either a little bit slower or in less amounts if you know what i mean i know the, the only thing that bamboozles me about the whole situation though is i have screenshots that we showed in the previous video and yeah. i've still got on discord somewhere um where, where we have agreed to the the price before i you sent me footage before i started editing we did say 40 pounds because you know if i went for 20 i know the first one i did 10 because i was trying to ease into freelance because it's a hard thing to do um I know you're young, so I didn't want to, like, you know, con you too much. But at the end of the day, when it comes to, like, £20 for three, four hours editing, that's still underpaid, you know? Like, you know, I, I work a job now, and I get that much money from four, three hours work, you know? And I want to be paid more than that because it's I'm at home and I'm getting stuff done. You know, it has to suffice to the usual pay limit. And yeah. I, I think I remember you turned around one day and said, like, oh, I, I, I didn't. We didn't agree on 40 quid but i remember distinctly that we both sat down and said yes mm -hmm. but i think um, you went off and told someone i can't remember who i saw it somewhere in a screenshot that we, we didn't agree on that like why have you gone off and said that i i don't know why i said that honestly um but i do remember agreeing to it and i remember when you'd said like okay that'll be 45 pounds or whatever i was like oh um, well, he's already done it, so I might as well just accept the. the well, I, I told you before I started doing it, because um, it was roughly was it like four or five hour stream that I went through. Uh, um, I think so, yeah. And I condensed that to a to eight to twelve minute clip, something like mm -hmm. that. Um, so that's a lot of footage to go through, and I think forty five is somewhat generous. It's like uh, I, I've been I recently not at the moment, but I started editing for Zebris. Um, a little while back and he he paid his editor prior to me a hundred pounds for lesser cl uh, clips than that which i think is completely fair because editing is not an easy thing and it's something no, you no. have to cater towards the creator and also the way their channel is formatted etc find their theme work with their voice all this sort of thing and not to mention i was also one of the main things that was annoying me was um i was cutting out uh, text to speech like a lot because of donations or not donations but you had text to speech on during your stream so you've got to take all that sort of stuff into account as well um and and you know i obviously offer i offer everyone that i know personally or not personally but like online for like you know i offer you discounts and stuff like I, I did one of yours for 10 
or 15 or something like that. Uh, I even said to Z, Z's like, oh, I'll pay you 60 to 100 for your first like few edits. And I was like, that's great, but I'll do it for 40 because I'm your friend. You know, we work together on stuff, so I'm fine with that because I think that's just common courtesy. It's like, yeah. if it was to be vice versa, you'd do the same. Um, so I just think overall, it was kind of a kick in the face when I had to, you know, when you agreed to it, then I did it then i told you again and i even let you have the video early which i wasn't going to do but i was like you know what he's a kid i'll let him have it and i'll let him pay whenever um to the, to which i then waited like two three months for payment um which, which was in segments of 20 i think something like mm -hmm. that um which i mean is fine but everyone i spoke to about it like i spoke to a lot of people i spoke to parents and stuff like because they were just asking about freelance stuff and i'm like trying to get into it more still am but now i'm waiting on that new pc before i get into it again um but you know they were all saying that you should charge more for like waiting which is which is true because that's what people would do i mean know? yeah yeah you normally if you have to wait longer you have to put like it's like interest. because you, have to put you know if that was my like, main like, source of income it wouldn't you're, be good you're starving at that point like you're, mm. yeah it's like it's not good i don't like pot noodles that much you know no you've said it god damn i i think um i mean there was, uh, you were accused of asking uh i hear just some names here uh you know roly sam b zebrus dino uh, I mean, there was one specific one with Dino uh, Gamer, right? Uh, or call me, you know? Uh, sorry. And uh, you were like proper, like, you know, give me the fucking money. Like, I, I saw the, the Disco things. I think it was more of a joke. Yeah, it was think... like a yeah, joke kind of thing, it, yeah. It was, it was just so kind of like aggressive, like, give me the fucking money. Give me, give me the fucking I'll, money. I, 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 will hurt, I will hurt you, you have to say. Um, I, I was going to ask, I mean, another like little question. After obviously everything happened with the community and whatnot, who did you still have contact with within the community? I know you had contact with Kami and a few other, because this, you know, arranging this to happen here, you know, for anybody watching and whatnot, this didn't just happen overnight. You know, again, I know there's going to be some that are going to watch this and go, oh, this is, you know, fucking, I, I had some people, I'll be honest with you, Dragon. I had some people before and go, you know, I hope you don't get Dragon on again. Like, I hope that doesn't happen. Like, I hope you don't get him on. And I went, well, I obviously I'm not going to say anything, but like, you know, at the end of the day, like, I, I've got nothing to say here. You know, I, you'll wait and see. But it's like, um, you know, people i don't think understand it's been six months half a year since everything mm. happened and that's why i invited you back on inherently but you you also had spent months trying to get a hold of me you know i it, since everything happened because i also tried to contact joe through me a few times um and i'm sure other people as well because i, I, I got mean, a lot of times where you're yeah. like i remember texting joe one time uh, after he went off about it because i know joe was really mad about it for a while yeah. and uh, i remember you telling me like oh can you pass this on to joe please i said oh dragon's messaged me and Joe's like, yeah, well, fuck it. You can tell him. You can tell him yourself. You know, it's like it's not something. I'm not going to have you talk through my friends to get to me. It's just yeah, pathetic. Yeah. I yeah. remember that being quite I, serious. I, I was, uh, I was quite adamant on it because you'd met try message in my Facebook group, uh, like my Facebook page, and that was the only place you were. You were blocked. Everywhere. I could have blocked you at any point. I was seeing the messages, um, but it was just I, I wasn't responding because I had no interest in speaking at that point in time. I was still very kind of like, you know, I was like, hey, like I'm not. We're not cool. You haven't said not yet. Like I would, I had to let it settle because for me the big thing afterwards was like all right now that you've done this you'd put me in this kind of mindset and position where i was so excited for the pc and i was ready to fucking leave console and like go to pc and do more with that and it felt like it was a big change i was kind of in this position where i was like now i need to do it like now i'm in a position that i didn't want to be in because now i feel like i've, I've you made a fool out of me in front of everybody and i promised everybody we're gonna upgrade our quality and we can't now so now i've got to go get a pc like and i, I did eventually but that wasn't in spite of you inherently that was obviously of course just pure sheer luck that i managed to get one uh, and that took a few tries like i mean i, I went to a guy's house in a, a part of uh, the uk obviously in edinburgh and um the guy like no you know it almost got a fight with a guy you know what I'm saying because the guy was like in his 40s offering me a pc i've, I've told the story one on the streams i went in there and i was that kind of like adamant that i wanted a pc i went to this guy's house it was hella sketchy i brought money with me etc the guy wouldn't answer the door and i was like i was kicking off outside of his house for like a good hour like it was it was like to get the pc i've got right now it was it wasn't easy you know what i mean i had to really like try and look for one and eventually <laughs> risk one. versus reward because it's a pc versus reward, yeah um but it, it wasn't easy and it was a uh, it was it was not easy at all honestly by any means shape or form you know um but that's how i eventually obviously got one of course in spite of it but like yeah you, you were trying to contact me you were messaging the facebook group page i think at first one of the main messages was you kind of just more speaking then it was also you took issue to me using your face uh on the vlogs right that was like and then it was on tfp chat because you didn't really notice a vlog it was more you only noticed when you saw tfp because obviously we rebranded and brought the show back and i remember you messaging at that point like i was deliberately tagging you on, on insta and on other things like i i'm the one who runs the socials mainly so like joseph does the bits as well but he mainly does editing his own stuff so i was uh i was running the insta and i remember telling joseph i was deliberately tagging you because i was like i want him to 
like see that you know like i'm st i'm still here but he doesn't know if it's me or you you know to joseph um but like you'd kept mastering me and kept mastering me and kept mastering and then you're mastering about uh you know on facebook regarding your face getting used like i don't know if you recall like i, I probably could read the messages i'd load it up right now i'd have to go into my thing though so it'd be a bit of a pain but you're messaging regarding like facebook and you're like uh you know like hey can you not use my face because obviously you i use a profile photo of yours and whatnot and stuff like that not to say too much but i used your likelihood your, you know your likeliness with blurring it partially um but you got i think who who all did you get to message me again you call me uh joseph uh, few people I, I can't remember off the top of my head but call me joseph and i think maybe i i i, I tried sam yeah i think the majority because call me i remember him trying to message me and i, I told call me straight around like hey don't fucking like he, he's like if you want me to delete him i'll delete him i was like listen just don't message me because it was like I don't like to be used, anybody getting used as a middleman to try and get messages for me. At that point, I will just kind of block you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and them, like them and the, like the person who's doing it, if I haven't already. Um, so it was, it was just quite a bit of a mad kind of period, a mad kind of, I guess, uh, I know, you know, like a mad kind of ordeal, you know, overall. Um, and obviously, I, as I said, I wasn't kind of personally in that spot where I wanted to speak to you yet. But obviously, you know, as you know, we started speaking eventually, kind of reached out and we kind of, you know, established that communication and whatnot. Um, and that's, that's kind of where like we go towards obviously then the, the whole scripting and then, then the entire thing obviously which was regarding you coming on this show you know um, it was one of those things where you know when I pitched the idea and I'll, I'll read this in a proper second and whatnot like the whole thing I've got written here when I pitched the idea of like a third kind of trilogy episode to end this all off it was uh, I know it was kind of frowned upon by a few people I remember I, I'm not going to name names but I remember a few people genuinely like saying hey don't do it you know like don't don't let Dragon on don't let him back in the community etc um, and obviously now you came back. I've got to ask, since you've came back to the community, you know, like obviously with us, you know, you're not kind of fully coming back. What is how like how how has things changed for you? Like, has anything really changed? Has it just been more being able to speak to your friends again? Some of them, you know, etc. Um, it's it's been nice actually having people to talk to if I need to talk to someone or if I want to talk to someone. Um, and it's nice not being feel like I'm just trapped in the middle of nowhere with no one to go to if I need to, mm -hmm. but it's it's still like people are skeptical to talk about me because they think that everything that i say is a lie which is like fair enough but yeah it's kind of like you know you made your bed you know i mean like mm -hmm. hypothetically you made your bed you got to lie in it kind of thing um i mean do you i mean is there anything like you want to say to the audience before we send this off like that you personally feel like are like obviously i know you've apologized to me and you, you said that a good few times and whatnot i always appreciate hearing it and whatnot because it was something that was severe you know like i you know if there was some good that did come from this oral ordeal if there was any and i always like to take some good out of any sort of bad situation and it was uh you know the good thing that did kind of come from it was that with it you know uh, i did have to kind of force myself to get a piece even though i didn't want it you know i did because like i did want it but it was just i wasn't kind of there you know I me mean, ready for it um i had to kind of force myself to get one you know but like i mean is there anything you want to say to the, the community people that watch this because obviously tfp is kind of like a main hub area this is um, definitely a good way to uh re like solidify your presence in the community as well yeah so i think this is your not not, not necessarily an apology but the way to reassert yourself i yeah. think you know there's always going to be people that will hold that grudge and they'll be biased but I think this is where you can stand your ground, which I think is the nice thing about TFP because you kind of like to um, finish things where they leave off. We never like to leave yeah. anything unfinished. No, no, never. Yeah, and that's why we decided to do this. Um, <laughs> actually, coincidentally, sorry, before you speak, coincidentally, we decided to do this as well uh, 20 episodes after you came on because it was two years. You know, you you have I mean, you have a huge staple in the, the community. Can we just say this before we actually sign off? I've got a better sign off and I'll let you see your bit as well, Dragon. But like jokes aside and whatnot, and all that kind of shit and drama aside, you're your you know part that you played or your name or whatnot and, and tfp's history within the, the channel and whatnot it's quite substantial you know episode 12 you know two it was in 2020 october etc but that was a big episode you were at your peak and all that kind of stuff on a but it was also when we were doing the old kind of style of editing and recording and then obviously episode 19 dragon's downfall although it was yeah a negative episode it was also the first ever episode we done using this new kind of layout and it was just before we rebranded and came back to the show and it was without this kind of layout and without that we wouldn't have got there and i'm not saying that was because of you but it was it's mad how you know synonymous you've been with the actual community and it, how much it like, shows you know, the transition of time and we've got that same it's like the whole scientific method you keep one thing the same but you move along so you're mm -hmm. the same thing but we you can see the difference yeah so you, if you look at the wrong. first video you're on you probably couldn't tell it's the same podcast until you look at this one yeah yeah but sorry do you want to see your piece i'll let you see it but before I, we sign this off and uh, I, I was 
<laughs> I was just gonna say like no pressure, no pressure on me, right? <laughs> Like good. it's it's like the new way to solidify yourself in the community. Like no no pressure no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if if you guys want to talk to me, you can. If if you don't, fair enough. Um, I will be trying to come back to YouTube. So, yeah. Um, I'm... Oh, sorry. Go on. I, I was gonna say, I, not to cut you off, but I was gonna say. I mean, I I feel like with this episode, there's uh, uh, I have to give commend. Like, I have to commend you where it's where it's due. Like I have to say, well done. You know, you decided to come on the show for the third, well, and the third time in name, but the actual second time in person. Um, knowing this is obviously going to be the drama getting kind of settled on, but I'm going to go back through all those kind of moments and I'm going to admit, like, like what you said, I'm not feeling kind of suicidal at one point, all that kind of shit. Uh, which I totally am. I, I totally understand, of course, with like your, your mindset where you're at. Um, but I think it was, you know, the fact that you've came on here, you've had face cam, you know, you've got PC, you know, you have tried to right the wrongs you know you deleted your patreon that was fucking absurd you're saying like that because it was a hacker tier you're saying get a hundred dollars a month yeah. <laughs> i just seen this exclusive footage and like all that like you you've you've got rid of that you've fixed a lot of things you are trying to improve and i, I know that you personally we, we've spoken about personally you know privately um about me helping you kind of being able to make better thumbnails be able to get better streaming stuff going and help you kind of get yourself situated because uh, i i don't want any you know any sort of hard feelings obviously i mean like I, if there was going to be any it would be for me to you of course not the like way around but it's just that i've let that go you know what I'm saying? that's why i wanted to do this this was like a big part I, I actually said to you privately of course we we you would not be welcome back into the community in my mind unless we'd done this like this was a mandatory thing because we had to we had to use tfp to do this to make this thing right so mm -hmm. i know i think i think a lot of people in the community should understand that you've been for a lot and i, I guess I'll, I'll read out my, my script here because i've got a part to really finish this off um, then it kind of says everything I'm, I'm basically ranting on and saying right now and that is um, you know real quick I wanted to just say something to the audience before we end this uh, episode of the show I know that some people won't like we've that we've now for what is the third time talked about Planet Dragon on the show and I can totally understand that however I you know I, I the, however the reason I wanted to do this episode and give Dragon another chance was because we all make mistakes after Dragon did what he did, it was honestly difficult for me to accept and move on because what a you know what a lot of people, including Dragon, didn't actually know was for me the idea of getting a PC, especially at that point in time, was literally a life-saving opportunity because it was yeah it, it was something that was going to help me so much. I, I felt like back then the the reason I lost my motivation for doing YouTube and making videos was because I didn't have the correct equipment. But now, in hindsight, I realized it wasn't that. It was because simply I was just exhausted with producing the content I was producing. Um, with me now having a PC and after getting my PC and realizing that I had to remind myself that you know this person obviously being Dragon was still only a young kid I mean for God's sakes Dragon you know I I'm 22 you're you know 13 so although what you done you know was incredibly silly dumb and immature you paid the price you know you not only lost a good friend and mentor but also an entire community and your own community as well you know you you know you you've lost friends your hobby your passion for a 13 year old kid you lost quite a lot over a single lie to be honest um, and I, I remember when I first mentioned the idea of this trilogy final episode about Planet Dragon to, to Cynic, we both agreed he did deserve a second chance after losing so much, and we were the only ones who could kind of give you that. I believe I said chance. it was a bit of a send off as well. Like, um, yeah, a bit of a send off. It's a nice yeah. way to end it. You don't want to end it off as, oh, we hate this guy. We hate we this guy. And, you know, it's no, like... that was it. Yeah. You know, and this is the next part where it's, it's very right. You know, this show has had the distinct privilege of being able to see an archive dragging at his, uh, at his peak on episode 12. And that is downfall in episode 19, which is uh, quite substantial. And then, But now, for episode 32, we see him at his redemption. And it feels like a fitting way to end this two-year-long trilogy and journey. So, I, I know, man. It's, I think it's a, it's a good way to sign off and a good way to end. I think a lot of people in the community as well should kind of let bygones be bygones. You know, yes, you made mistakes. Yes, you lied. What you done was fucking silly and stupid. But at the end of the day, you know, you've been a bigger man to admit when you've been wrong. You've paid the punishment, you know. And uh, hopefully now, I, I, I wish you the best. And so does Joseph. I know that on a, on finding yourself success in the future with everything you do so yeah man i think i think it's a good way to sign off um ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this episode of the forgotten podcast this was episode 32 of course featuring myself mass cynic and of course planet dragon obviously we hope you guys all enjoyed this episode if you did please be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe and share it with your friends and family um guys thank you once again for planet dragon for coming on the show we really hope you all enjoyed it we'll see you all later and yeah, everybody peace peace adios bye, bye. <laughs> <Just a little laughs>